I really just spent too much money. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. I hope you are all doing well. I feel like there are two types of people in quarantine. Those that are either saving a ton of money or those that are spending a ton of money. I thought I was going to be the former and be saving a ton of money, but I really just spent too much money. This is going to be a little bit of everything from clothes, art supplies, and tech. And without further ado, here is everything I bought in quarantine. So far. So the first thing I got is this pair of black jeans with white stripes. They kind of give me train conductor vibes, but I like that you can either dress them up or dress them down depending on what you want. And then at the bottom, uh, these pants are a little bit frayed at the ends, uh, but they look really cute. The next item I bought is also from Paxson, and it's this purple and black plaid dress. And you can see that it has spaghetti straps. And overall, I thought this dress would be really cute if I wore it with a long sleeve or a turtleneck. And that is everything that I got from Paxson, so let's move on. Moving on, I went shopping at Madewell, and honestly, I don't really like the prices that Madewell offers but I guess that's the price of things being made well. The first thing that I got from Madewell is this pair of black jeans because you can never have too many black jeans. The quality is good. It's a little bit thicker than a pair of normal jeggings, but it's still soft and comfortable because clearly the only thing that I've been wearing while in quarantine are leggings and comfortable clothes. The next thing that I got from Madewell is this really cute v-neck t-shirt. It has a ton of really thin maroon stripes on it, and it also has this really cute pocket on the front. And overall, I just love everything about this t-shirt. It was super cheap, and I really love how soft it is. Next from Madewell, we have this flannel. As you can see, I really love the colors of it. It's very neutral, but it still has a bit of a pop of color with the different colors of the stripes. And the material is actually a lot thicker than what I thought it was going to be when I first ordered it. But it's fine because the Midwest has been very, very cold. Anyway, as you can see, this flannel is oversized, but very, very comfortable. Are we seeing a pattern in the type of clothes that I get? The last thing that I got from Madewell is this pair of shorts. For some reason, I just really like the paper bag cut of pants, so I thought it'd be good to get a pair of shorts that also have the same cut. And I also don't have any shorts of this color, but it has a really cute button on the front, and I can't wait to wear these once we can go outside! If you watch my channel, then you'll know that I have been really loving bullet journaling. Between the last two bullet journal videos, you'll probably guess, but I got watercolors. So clearly this isn't watercolors, but this is what Amazon delivered to me the first time around. And I'm sure that everything is really crazy with quarantine and everything going on. Um, so I want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but this is what they sent me. But I did end up getting them. So I ordered the Kuretake Gansai Tompi watercolor set with 36 colors. And I used them in my last bullet journal video, which I'll link in the description below. Um, but I'm hoping to be watercoloring more soon, and as you can see, the colors are all very, very pretty. They also came with a set of four brushes. I was actually debating between getting watercolors or gouache, but in the end, I decided to get watercolors just because I wanted to get the effect that watercolors tend to produce more than gouache does. But I actually really did like when I tried out gouache, so who knows? I might buy that eventually. I also got this set of 10 brushes from Amazon. They weren't super expensive and honestly I just picked whatever was recommended on Amazon and they worked out fine when I used them. The last thing that I got from Amazon is this watercolor paper. So this is Canson's cold press watercolor paper. 
Honestly, I don't really know that much about watercoloring, so in terms of paper and brushes, I just got whatever my friends recommended. Thank you to those friends who recommended all of those art supplies to me. And hopefully we will be watercoloring on my channel again soon. Moving on to tech, this is actually also the last thing that I got from Amazon. I told myself that I could just get a fake MacBook charger because I was going to replace my laptop in a couple of years. But then my laptop charger decided to die. So this is the one that I got from Amazon. But in reality, this charger only lasted me two weeks. So please, please, please just save yourself the money and the trouble and just buy yourself a genuine MacBook charger. So you can probably guess, but I went out and bought myself a real MacBook charger. The fake MacBook charger died on a Sunday night when I had work the next day, so I was kind of desperate and just needed to get whatever was quickest. So I just went to the nearest Best Buy to me and picked up this MacBook charger. I learned my lesson, don't buy fake Apple products. To top this haul off, I got an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil. The iPad actually just came yesterday, so we're going to end the video here so that I can actually go and set it up now. I'm hoping to show you more of the iPad and Pencil in future videos as I continue to find ways to express my creative side. So let me know in the comments if you relate to this at all and what your biggest purchase was in quarantine. But stay healthy and stay safe. All right, friends, bye for now. I just bought something else.